Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO of Independence Title, and I just got off the phone with my life insurance agent with Mass Mutual. And I wanted to do today's episode talking a little bit about asset protection. And again, remember, as we talked about in the land trust uh, commercial, that I'm not an attorney, I'm not giving legal advice, I'm not a financial advisor. But I can tell you what I've done in the years of being involved in real estate, whether it was as a landlord, whether it was buying and selling my own property, uh, or in the scope of, of being a title insurance agent. And some of the things that I see when crisis happens, you know, we've talked about this before on many other videos about just things that occur in life, life issues that just happen. So I wanted to talk today and just talk about two main points. And I encourage you to reach out to your local CPA, reach out to your local financial advisor, and reach out to your local life insurance and disability insurance agent, because it's very, very important. And if you ever want a referral, as always, you can always reach out to me. I'll be happy to introduce you to the people that I know, like, and trust in the industry. So today we're gonna to talk about life insurance first. Life insurance is a policy that most people, A, either can't afford, or B, choose not to afford. And I'm telling you that we see closings more and more that occur where people are put into a situation because they didn't have a life insurance policy. So why is it important? So many people always love to ask me, well, well why do I need it? And I always say, well, what happens if something were to happen to you when you leave your job today or at your job or you're out driving around? Something were to happen that would leave your family wondering, wondering how are they gonna pay their mortgage? Wondering how are they gonna pay the house off? wondering how are they gonna pay your debts. It's something pretty unique to think about that you would never wanna leave a family member in a position worse off than they were today, right? So that makes sense? So, so a life insurance policy is very, very inexpensive in today's market. As long as you're of a decent age and, and in fair health, uh, you could probably get a, a policy pretty inexpensive. So what is that gonna do for real estate? People say, so what does that have to do with real estate? Well, it has to do with that when you take out a loan on a house and something were to happen to you, you would want that house paid off. So whether it's your spouse, significant other, your children, you don't wanna leave them with the burden of worrying about having to make a mortgage payment. You don't wanna leave them the burden of, of worrying about having to sell this house just to be able to, to live, uh, to be able to get by. So by having a policy for a minimal monthly expense in place, you work that into your monthly budget. Okay, so now you're gonna get this policy and if something were to happen to you, which we hope nothing ever happens, I hope I pay my policy until it expires and I'll never need it. But there's a sense of security for my family that I'm leaving them better off than they were today. So this way I've done my job, I've taken care of my family, I've done what I need to do. So that's something to really think about, right? So it's something to think about whether you own rental property, whether you're a first time home buyer buying a house and you wanna make sure that your family, your children, your spouse, uh, is well taken care of in the event of a crisis. And that crisis is, God forbid, you pass away. You pass away, the policy will pay out, and now your heirs are able to pay the house off and now live comfortably rather than having to deal with the, the crisis on top of it as well. Okay, so that was the first thing, life insurance, great. And I'm glad you're watching this video because now we're gonna talk about disability insurance. Disability is for sure different than life insurance. Life insurance, more people own than disability insurance. But I have a question for you. If you're a landlord and you're renting out properties, or you're a business owner, you know, like myself, and something were to happen, you were to get disabled, permanently disabled where you can no longer earn an income, who is going to support your family? Because life insurance won't kick in because you're disabled. So you need some type of insurance that will help pay the bills that will help supplement your payments on, on debts that you may have, will help put food on your table, pay for your car payment, help pay for your mortgage payment. And again, it's slightly more expensive, I would believe, than a life insurance policy, but it's, I think it's just as important. It really is just as important. And we're here not only on these Title Tuesdays to teach you about real estate, we're here to teach you about all of the life lessons that we've learned all of the life lessons that we've come in contact with in many, many different closings. You know, we close just about 100 closings a month and we've seen it all. We've seen probate issues, we've seen um, divorce situations, we've seen first time home buyers, we've seen investors buying to, uh, to buy, fix and flip. We've seen just about every type of real estate closing you can come in contact with probably multiple times in a single month. 
So we're teaching you these life lessons talking about life insurance and, and disability insurance because we wanna make sure you are set up for success. If you're getting into an industry, if you're a real estate agent, or you're even a home buyer, you need to make sure that you have the tools necessary, the education necessary that you may not have known before watching this video. So I thank you for taking the time to watch the video today. Please reach out to your local financial advisor and, and uh, insurance agent to find out about life insurance and disability insurance. They're two very important policies that you need to, as long as you can afford it, I would, I would hope that you would have those in place to make sure your future is well protected, the future of your heirs. I thank you for watching this. Please subscribe below to look out for our, our upcoming episodes and we look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Have a good day.